the advantage of minimally invasive skin tightening techniques is that you're limiting scars, you're typically limiting downtime. What I do like to tell patients, for instance, if we're talking about minimally invasive procedures for the face, you might get 50% of the result of a facelift, so it's not a full surgical result, which of course is the gold standard, but not everyone is ready for surgery. Not everybody needs surgery yet, or some people just want a touch up from a surgery they've had a couple of years ago. So it really fits a niche in my practice in that you know I see patients who aren't necessarily ready to go for a full surgery, but they need something, they have some laxity, and they're looking for a treatment without a lot of downtime. So it's nice to have that to offer. There is a difference between minimally invasive and non-invasive, completely non-invasive. There's no incision, there's no treatment under the skin, and there's no recovery time. When it comes to minimally invasive, it's somewhere between surgery and non-invasive. So typically it's a procedure. It may involve some element of sedation. There are usually smaller scars than with traditional surgery, but definitely incisions that lead to scars. And then of course there's some recovery time, which again is, is typically less than you would see with traditional surgery. Thank you.